Chan. First of all, let us pay homage to the lineage gurus, homage to the venerable Mang Liaoming, homage to Master Sakya Zhenggong de Xiong Rinpoche, homage to His Holiness the 16th Karmapa, and homage to Master Dukdun Dorji. We pay homage to the three jewels represented on the altar and homage to the main deity of the ceremony today, Amogapasa Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva. Simu, Tutan Siti Rinpoche, all the Dharma masters, Dharma educators, Dharma teachers, Dharma lecturers, Dharma assistants, directors of temples and chapters, and all disciples present here and over the internet, and our participating VIPs today are Madam to Ambassador Daniel Liao, the representative from Taipei in Sweden and Norway, Dharma Sister Judy. The legislator, Ms. Xi, from England, the founder president of the Oxford Center for Buddhist Studies, Professor Richard Gombridge. And the representative from Foguang University, the Institute of Religion, Professor Yao, and from Academia Seneca, the Academian Professor Zhu Ziyi, and Mrs. The former Chief Secretary of the Taiwan Government, Mr. Zheng Keifu. The Law Advisor to Tupita Foundation, Ms. Jennifer Zhou. And the members of Tupita School Scholars Group and Medical Group. From United Arab Emirates, Royal Family, the President of Greenfield Group, Ms. Lin. From the United Arab Emirates, the representative from Taiwan of the Greenfield Group, Ms. Mai. The general manager of the GE Enterprise, Ms. Zhang. A wood sculptor artist, Mr. Jian. University Sam Classman, Zhu Jinsui Xianzen, Ji Fu Ren, Chen Zexiang Nusi. Mr. Zhu Jinsui and Mrs. The president of the Worldwide Lotus Light Charity and also the producers for Great Perfection Dharma, Lamde and Sutra of Perfect Enlightenment, Master Lian Yu, and the host, Dharma Sister Peiju. My sister, Lu Seng Mei Nui Si. My sister, Lu Guo Yin Nui Si. And the husband. Producers for the program Illuminating Your Heart from CTI TV, Dharma Sister Rebecca Xu Yachi. And we are very grateful to Dharma Sister Aline 
from Taichung for her donation of 300,000 NT dollars. Dharma Sister Chen for her donation of 100,000 NT dollars. And Dharma Sister Chen Chaolin also for her donation of 100,000 NT dollars to the temple. Good afternoon, everyone. How do you do? In Taiwanese, in Mandarin Chinese, in Cantonese, all greetings in Thai, Korean, Vietnamese, Indonesian, Malay, Uh, good afternoon and domo uh, konnichiwa in english japanese ora amigo spanish ah mes boku french saudi portuguese no Brazilian, ah, Portuguese. Ah, How do you do, everyone? Ah, uh, New Jin University, uh, Richard, Professor. Professor Richard from Good Oxford time. University. <laughs> Let me say a few words in English. Uh, my name is Sen Yen Du. I born uh, 1945, 1945. Uh, born in Taiwan. But now, uh, I'm house, go to the United States, American Seattle. Now, I'm American citizen and a Taiwan citizen. Uh, I have the four guru, but it started uh, Tibet, Tenchuri, Tibet, Bunasen, Tenchuri. Uh, I half half year in the Taiwan, half year in uh, Seattle, Seattle city. In Seattle city, I have the two temple, two temple, Neizhang temple. One temple is Seattle Neizhang temple. Two temple is Zhongbo Villa. Zhongbo Villa, Neizhang uh, Temple. In United States, Seattle, every Saturday night, 8 o'clock, in the temple, I have a ceremony and teach the Tibetan Tenchuri Buddhism. In the Sunday afternoon, three o'clock, in Zumpo Dezang uh, Temple, have fire opening. I am a teacher, Buddhist. I study the uh, uh, Buddhist, have the I uh, send you is 40 years ago, 40 years. But uh, I have the temple in England, have the three temple. Uh, two temple in uh, 
伦敦啊，伦敦 City one temple in、uh, <laughs> where North Bend Northampton.、Oh, I don't know that city name. <laughs> But have the two temple in the London. One temple is the Chu Du Dezhan Temple. One temple is the London Dezhan Temple. You can go to the、uh, England, the London, uh, see the my student. Ah,、uh, you wanna ah.、Uh, 他他现在希望有继承人。You were hoping for a successor. 这个伦敦的两个 temple 里面。So you can search for a successor from these two London temples. 啊、uh, ，You can catch the one master. Have the ah、uh, London Temple master here, yeah. So this is the master from the London Temple. 真杜雷藏师，真杜雷藏师的 master here is come from the London. So, oh, 跟他谈过。We have spoke. We have spoken. So that's good. You can be connected. We have three temples in England. One is the Chubuda London Temple, and the other one is the Zhengdu Temple. And the last one is the Zhengyan Temple, which is in the middle part of the group. United、uh, of the United Kingdom in Northampton. So, you may find what you need in those. Hey. 那么我今天呢，我们这个要讲这个不空间受观音。哇，今天来的人非常的多。Today we will talk or expound about the Amoga Pasa. But we have so many people here today. We spend so much time on the Hatha offering already. Is it dinner time? <laughs> Now is it dinner time? What do I say? It's very simple. So it's dinner time already. So I can only、uh, give a brief teaching. So first, Amogapasa Avalokiteswara belongs to the Avalokiteswara family. Which is one that is with great compassion and truly great. He has three faces, nine eyes. Her right hand is holding the chanting bead, symbolizes that she can chant mantra and guide the Bardu spirits to be reborn into the Pure Land. The second hand is holding the nectar vase. 
which symbolizes that she is able to purify the karma of all sentient beings. Her right, her left hand is holding a lotus blossom, and the lotus represents or symbolizes purification. So she can purify our karmic retributions that manifest in sicknesses and also all karma from past lives. As long as she, you have attained the spiritual union with her, then you would be able to eradicate the karma of all lives. And the last hand is holding a lasso. This is a lasso. If sentient beings pray to her and she can bind it with this lasso, so that your wish would come true and you will not return empty-handed. As we know, the mudra and this is the mantra. So the hat mantra. And her mudra very special. So with the image mantra and visualization and this is the hand gesture or mudra that you need to form This is the mudra of the lasso. It's called the lasso mudra. And her vajra name is equality, equal deliverance vajra. So she's one of the manifestation of Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva, one of the seven Avalokiteswara Bodhisattvas in the Avalokiteswara quarter. She's extremely great and compassionate. She has about the equal Dharma power as Mahajundi and the Vajra name is equal deliverance Vajra. And her CD is Amoga CD Buddha. So she can let you accomplish many work or career. So if your personal deity is, is Avalokiteswara, you can also have this deity as your yidam. Grandmaster has many yidams or personal deities or main deities. The first one is Golden Mother from the Taoist tradition. So I treat Golden Mother as my mother. And how about Amitabha Buddha? I regard Amitabha Buddha as my father. And Siddhikabha Bodhisattva, I regard Siddhikabha Bodhisattva as my brother. And 
And I regard the Dakinis of the sky as my wives. Once you gain spiritual union with your Yidam, you would be extremely intimate with him. So let me tell you, in Tantrayana, so the male deity should be regarded as the father, and the female deity should be regarded as the mother. And brothers and sisters who are very close to you, and you regard the Dakinis as your wife. And you regard the Dakas as your husbands. So every time when you pray in the supplication prayer, it would be the same as if you are inviting your father, mother, siblings, wives, or husbands. Then in this way, it would be very easy to gain spiritual union with the deity. I really do this. Every time when Amitabha Buddha appears, I would pray to my father. Every time Golden Mother appears, I would pray as if I am praying to my mother. Every time Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva appears, it's as if I'm praying to my brother. Every time a Dakini appears, that would be with my wife. So that would be very close and intimate. So if you do this every time with your yidam, then you would be in union with him or her. So this is the secret that I'm sharing with you today. So in Tantrayana, Yidam is a main deity or personal deity who is closest to you. So in order for you to create that current connection, you have to be really intimate. Once you're very intimate, then you can be in union. Once you're very intimate with the Buddhas or the Bodhisattvas, then you can be one with them. Then you would be able to master the Bodhidharma. Don't think that the Buddha is far away like Amitabha Buddha in the Western Paradise, or Golden Mother in the Golden Mother Pure Land, or Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva in his Pure Land, or all the Dakinis in the Kachara Heavens. Don't think like that, because we are in union with all the deities. So the key secret is that you manifest the deities out of the Buddha nature inside your hearts. This is the most important key formula. Don't think that the Buddha is very far away. The Buddha is the Buddha nature inside your heart. Don't think that the Bodhisattva is very far away. That Bodhisattva is the compassionate heart that you generate inside you. The most important thing 
in our spiritual cultivation or spiritual studies is four. One is compassion. The second is wisdom. So four words in Chinese, but two words in English. Compassion and wisdom. And you need to abide by the precepts or moral ethics of the Buddha in order to reach the purification of the body, speech, and mind. Once you have the pure body, speech, and mind, then your Buddha nature will manifest. So the Buddha nature does not come from the space or sky. Sometimes the Buddha nature is naturally manifested from inside you. So here I would like to say that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are none others than you yourself when you have pure body, speech and mind. You would be the true Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So today, for this Amogapasa teaching, most importantly, I'm talking about that you can pray for anything to the Buddha nature, to your own Buddha nature. For everything, you rely on yourself and your own Buddha nature to attain Buddhahood. You cannot rely on anybody else. This is spoken by the Buddha. The Buddha guided me this way that ultimately he said that you abide by the precepts, abide by the Buddha Dharma, or rely on the Buddha Dharma, and then you rely on the purity of the body, speech, and mind in order to manifest the Buddha nature. You can have attainments from the mundane ground, and you can also have attainments at the enlightened or ultimate ground. Today, I will talk, continue to expound on Lamde, the path and its fruit. So about the learning and training of the body and the mind. Extensive practice divided into two. One is the extensive practice of the sound in the specified position of the body. Say Xi Qi 20 times up until the throat, and then the other way around, you say ji si 20 times and rest. Repeat these two cycles for a total of 40 times. Not more, not less. So, if you practice it less, then you shorten your life. Also, you say si to uplift. If one feels his chest is tight or worse, his head is splitting and thoughts running, skin hairs rising, these are the signs that the extensive practice has reached its peak. Practice this way four times a day for a continuous seven days. My guru did not teach me this. 
It talks about 40 sounds. One is Xi Qi 20 times to lift and Qi Xi 20 times to lower. So this is the practice of breathing and the vital energy to lift up the Qi and to lower the Qi for a total of 40 times. However, my guru taught me this, which I have taught to you before. You visualize your own body to become the character home or the sit syllable home. At the moment of death, you lie down and you visualize yourself to become this home character. And in the sky, you visualize an ah character or syllable and the hook in the ah syllable will hook the circle of the home syllable and then you recite ah home ah home ah home continually for seven days and with the hook, you would be reborn in the pure land. You would have attainment. You return to the ah. So this is a method to attain Buddhahood in seven days with the ah syllable and the home syllable. It is much simpler and clearer than this what is written in this book about CG and GC. But to extend the lifespan, it's rather different. So if you recite it one more time, which is for 21 times, then your life will be shortened. But for 20 times, it's okay. So, 20 times would be perfect. My guru did not know. I have asked him this before. And he told me, don't do this. But instead, at the moment of death, you use the ah syllable, and you use home syllable for your own body, and then you use the ah syllable to hook the home syllable up to the sky and then you would be reborn into the buddha land and you have attainments that was referred as the buddhahood in seven days i have taught this before what was written in lamde would be more difficult so this is the practice of sound. Instead, we could just recite ah, hum, ah, hum, ah, hum. That would be good enough. So the ah, hum is the practice of the body too. Ah is written like this, and there's one hook, and we use this hook to hook on home, which is your body. So this is the practice of the Sanskrit syllable, and the practice of the sound is you say ah home ah home ah home and home is written like this it's also a syllable so at the moment of death if you can remember to practice this 
Then you visualize the A syllable and the home syllable and the A syllable hook the circle of the home syllable and it would rise and go directly to the Buddha land, to the pure land. It's very late today. One day, the father told his son, if you improve in your test, the dad will give Xiaoming two thousand anti dollars as a reward. And Xiaoming thought he did not improve and he said, I'm not easily bribed. So as Buddhists, we don't study Buddhism for money, but we study Buddhism in order for the wisdom of the Tathagata, and we learn and practice the compassion of the Tathagata. This is the most important. This and the evening of the Valentine's Day, a man accompanied a woman to the flower shop. There are many beautiful flowers. And the man asked, do you like this flower? Yes. And the man replied, if you like it, then uh, you look at it a little longer. And they keep looking and looking until the shop closes. And the woman said, See, you knew I like it, but why didn't you buy it for me? And the man replied, Because anyone willing to spending time, I mean, to, willing to spend money on you doesn't necessarily mean that he loves you, but anyone who's willing to spend time on you really loves you. Let me tell you, the ones who are always with us is the Buddha and the Bodhisattva. By all means, don't think that the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas are other than you. Actually, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas are you. So, ultimately, the ones who are always with us until old age until we leave the world is or are the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The three Chinese words that are 
most desired is not I love you, but you lost weight. Let me share another joke as an ending to this Dharma talk today. As Mr. A said to Mr. B, you're a cement vendor, but your wife is very beautiful. Please tell us. And Mr. A said, I don't know how she likes me. That year, on the Valentine's Day, I was passing by a shop who sells the spirit money. And, yeah, and I entered the shop and then I asked how much does this gold cost for a ton of gold cost so we got married but we always argued because she said that I was a liar so in this world we are not for money and also not for status and position and not for getting or marrying a beautiful girl or marrying a handsome man not for any of those what is most important in this world is we want to get married to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Time is very short today. It's almost seven. And it should, dinner time has passed long ago. You said it's no problem, but I didn't eat lunch today. I just ate two eggs. That's it. <laughs> I didn't eat my own eggs. I ate eggs prepared by someone. So, I apologize that I have to end my teaching today on Money Bearing Home.